Welcome YouTube to our CGA to a 1947 Willys Jeep project. It's uh, under construction right now. We're just trying to fix it up. So here's our shop. Got tools everywhere. Ready to start going. Give you a quick preview of what it looks like. So that's the engine. We got a Willie's work mat set up because you don't want to scratch the paint. That's one of our genius ideas. And that's kind of a view of the engine. Got our red horn, carburetor, engine, spark plugs, oil filter. That's our battery. If I take you around to the side here, it's under complete construction, you can tell. Got the uh, cover taken off. We're going to take out the uh, transmission and transfer case, so we're getting all ready to go here. Here's the back. More custom Millie's mats that we built to try to prevent the scratching. Here's the back, got the jack ready to go, jerry can. We're getting ready to uh, take the transmission and transfer case out. So we had to disconnect the drivetrain, the rear and front. I'll give you a quick see what it looks like. Yeah, so this brake drum is all messed up as well. Gotta take this apart and fix the emergency brake. Also gotta take it off to uh, change the transfer case out. So what we did was just take these four bolts right here off, off of the uh, drivetrain. And then it just pushes back. And just slides right out and then for the front you just take out the uh, two u-bolts that attach two right here where those two holes are and it just pulls right out as well the transfer case and tra uh, transmission are crazy dripping oil it's just terrible. So it needs to be fixed for sure. And our friend. The transmission and transfer case are crazy oily. All the seals are gone. Everything is just needs to be fixed here. And our best friend in this situation is liquid wrench it basically gets all these rusty bolts and stuff undone and i'm back under the jeep again I have to take all the pedals out just so it makes it easier to take up this transmission so we've got the uh, brake and clutch control out goes right through this hole right here and then under here, we have to take off the uh, support from the uh, master cylinder. And this is quite the project as well. We have to, I had to uh, get a grinder and grind off a welded piece because the previous owner welded on this part. And it should just be a cotter pin. So that was interesting. I'm looking straight up from the uh, transfer case here. Here's the uh, clutch control. Right there, the little pig that attaches to. Take that out as well. And that's the clutch cable that goes right into transmission. So 
you can see lots and lots of oil should not be like this it's a mess now we got a new problem the exhaust pipe from the previous owners is welded together so the exhaust pipe can't even come out in pieces so the exhaust pipe might have to, might have to be cut and replaced these things just are amazing sometimes how it should be so easy but it's always so complicated now our next project is to remove the front grill and the radiator because we want to try to pull the whole entire engine and transmission out so we can place the uh, transmission transfer case that way i'm not sure is it going to work or not but we're going to give it a try so all the hoses disconnected the radiator hose upper and lower the accelerator rod goes the uh, accelerator pedal got both the brake and clutch taken apart got the battery disconnected for safety yeah yeah so we're gonna i'm gonna try take out this front grill which should be interesting because they look like painters on everything i need some liquid wrench try get this down hopefully the screws don't strip so i take the lights out too so i'm not sure the lights have ever been taken out before so that should be tricky I just had to take apart the uh, fan belt as well, just so it's less stuff in there to worry about. So I can take some of these uh, power lines out too, just so it's easier to move when we get to that stage. I have to take the starter motor out as well to uh, disconnect the transmission from the engine. So just gonna take out those two bolts right there and then take out the bolts around the bell housing. And in theory, it should just fall right apart, but with this thing, nothing goes to plan it seems like. 